Hello traders and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I want to look at some of the biggest potholes on the road to trading mastery you should avoid that keep most traders stuck and ultimately deflating their confidence in the markets, right? So predominantly, I'll be looking at two of those potholes or mistakes that you should definitely avoid uh, uh, or try as much as possible to avoid so that you can make some progress and see some some start seeing some results in your trading, right? So first and foremost, it is uh, not looking at the futures markets, right? So if you don't know what the futures market is, I've covered in the last two long format videos that I've posted or uploaded on this channel, I went over the commitment of traders report. So that is part of the futures, right? That is the COT report, which is the actual positioning of the large players in the, in the financial markets, right? They are obligated or mandated to report their open positions on any asset class, whether it's a commodity, it's a currency, whatever asset class it may be they are what they are mandated to report on their positions are they long or are they short how many contracts or positions do they have long or do they have short right so that's the first reason why if you are not paying attention to the futures market you are pl placing yourself at a very big disadvantage right at a very big disadvantage and i'm, I'm going to show you shortly right but essentially as a summary the report or the cot report actually covers the market participants, right? So what we are going to focus on today is the small speculators of which we can call the retail traders or, we, or which we can call the general public, right? So that is also found in the COT report, right? So look at, watch uh, the past two videos, long format videos, and then you'll be able to have an idea of what the COT report is, right? But this is the gold chart on a weekly chart, right? And then right here, we have the COT index, as you can teach just COT. So you can search that indicator on trading view, search for COT. Right. And then this is essentially showing us the positions of what of the small speculators or of the retail traders, a.k.a. the general public. Right. And as you can see, this is the actual positions. Right. So we, we, will, we will be paying attention to that, but not in this particular video. Right. So what is the biggest mistake? The biggest mistake is not paying attention to this. Why? Because if you look close enough. OK, let me just. Uh, um, hide the actual watch list so this is first and foremost this is a gold futures chart so this is not the actual gold uh, spot chart this is the gold futures chart right you do this on the futures uh, on the futures charts right not just your normal spot uh, spot charts right so you're not going to go into XAU USD and then apply this no you need to find the gold futures chart and you have them on trading view and for all the other asset classes as well but in essence the, the, the mistake that you that you can do by not paying attention to the futures is because this is an this is a guide this is a setup guide like I like like I'm gonna stress that it's not a timing tool but it's a setup guide so what I want you to pay attention to is that every single time at the highs when the market peaked what were the retail traders doing they were buying right so they were they were massively long compared to the previous moves or the previous behavior, right? You can clearly see that they were extremely long right here. And then price continued to drop. And then eventually they were what? They were extremely short around the lows compared to previous behavior, right? You can clearly see that now they're extremely short. And then what happened? That is when that is when price was about to bottom and start pushing higher. And then when they started increasing their long positions, they were bullish at the highs and then what happened price was about to drop and then at the lows as we can see as well right but for now let us just predominantly focus on the highs because gold is currently at the highs right so let us focus on the highs right so if you can clearly see what is happening so if you look at the highs all these highs let us look at all these highs right where the market formed a high i want you to see something here All right so if you're not paying attention to the futures market and specifically if you're not paying attention to the cot report and using the the cot index focusing on the small speculators uh, as a guide then you could be setting yourself up or, or placing yourself at a disadvantage like i said right so as you can see every single time they had been ramping up or increasing their long positions that is when price was about to drop right and we all understand retail traders are generally wrong most of the time not all the time most of the time right but it's essentially right here 
they are chasing the trend, right? That is why that is why when when prices at their highs, that is when they are extremely bullish, right? Because they are chasing the trend, right? So as you can clearly see, that is what has been happening. Then now, what I want to show you as well is if they are now extremely bearish, right? Oh, but before we get to being extremely bearish, we can clearly see that compared to the previous behaviors, they've been buying around these highs. And what has been happening with gold? Gold has been moving sideways, right? Gold has been ranging. It has been struggling to push higher and higher, right? Obviously, also emphasizing the fact that retail traders are generally wrong most of the time, right? So you can use this. And yes, it's on a weekly chart, but you can use this to be able to catch those big moves, right? Because this is a weekly chart and it's a couple of weekly candles, right? If it's four, three or four weekly candles, that's that's not a big move, but it's a substantial move, right? So you, then you can use this as your what as your as your setup tool. That okay, if they are now ramping up or they are increasing their buy positions on a future, and you're looking at a futures chart, and you can see that price is going higher, then you can start looking for opportunities to sell, right? So this is what what I was talking about when I was talking about this COT report or not paying attention to the futures markets, right? Then. Uh, as you can clearly see, if we just zoom out, this is applicable. You can go back in time. It it is it is applicable as well, right? So as you can see, even here, they were massively bullish around this time, and then price fell, right? And then when they were massively short here, as you can see, that is when price rebounded and started pushing higher. Why? Because they chasing price, they chasing the trend, right? And then as you can see here as well, price made a high. That is where they had been buying compared to previously how they were behaving right but you can clearly see this sort of uh pattern that is visible or evident also at the lows right if you're looking at the lows as well that is when they've been selling massively compared to the previous behavior that is when you see price rebound right so as you can see here as well they've been selling and then they went to an extreme compared to the previous behavior and that is when gold rebounded and started pushing higher and this is applicable on most futures charts right you can use this on most futures charts so that this is essentially the first mistake that uh you need to avoid right on your on your, on your road to trading mastery like i said then the second mistake is ignoring fundamentals and relying solemnly on support and resistance and the reason i say that is not because there's anything wrong with using support and resistance but there is everything wrong with with relying on support and resistance alone. Why do I say that? Because support and resistance is a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? And when I say self-fulfilling prophecy, I mean that it will do what you think it will do. <laughs> that is essentially the best way I can explain it, right? So this is still the gold futures chart, right? But what I'm going to do now, you can even do this on any chart, right? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to randomly plot horizontal lines on the chart right so i'm just gonna randomly put horizontal lines right okay yeah i think that's enough uh okay so now let us let us put back our chart right so as you can see now that we have a chart on it seems as if this market is moving around these levels that i've just plotted right so if i were only using this only using support and resistance horizontal lines without any other tools then i'll be setting myself up for it i'll be placing myself at a disadvantage once again so these are the predominant two potholes that uh that most traders make that you also need to avoid uh if unless obviously you don't want to make or see progress in the financial markets right so the first one is not paying attention to the futures market, specifically not paying attention to the behavior of small retail traders or small speculators because they are generally wrong. And when I say they are generally generally wrong, it means that they selling at the lows and they buying at the highs. That is predominantly what they're doing, right? They're extremely bearish at the lows and they're extremely bullish at the highs. Of course, they're chasing the trend. They're chasing the market move, right? So that's the first thing you need to pay attention to. And then if you are using support and resistance alone, you are placing yourself at a disadvantage again because you can clearly see these were random lines. I, I did not show the chart to, be, to try and pinpoint and be accurate with my lines, but I just threw in a random lines on the chart. And as you can clearly see, 
it's as if the chart is actually respecting these lines. Obviously, not every single time, but most of the time. So that is why I say you relying on technical analysis alone and not paying attention to fundamental analysis inclusive of, of the futures uh, market, it is placing yourself at a disadvantage against other traders who are actually using these tools who are not only relying on technical analysis but are only using technical analysis to time their entries once they've gone over the fundamentals gone over the futures contracts in terms of the cot report and then they now use the technical analysis uh, to actually uh, place their trades right so like i said we can do this on any 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 other chart right let us let us look at the nasdaq futures here Right, we're gonna do the very same thing. We're gonna hide it, right? So this is just to stress that if you are using technical analysis alone, it's a self-fulfilling pro pro prophecy. Because if you have that trend line there, you can just plot a random trend line, and then it would appear as if the reason price is moving is because of your trend line. When in essence, that is not the reason price is moving. That is that could possibly be how it is moving, but it is not the reason why it is moving, right? So we're gonna also do the very same thing let's switch over to a weekly chart then we're gonna just plot from the bottom to the top we're just gonna plot random lines random lines right okay I think that's enough it will get the point across then switch back to a line chart sorry to to the actual candlestick chart and as you can clearly see it's as if price is moving is respecting these levels right it's a it's a it appears as if the reason why price is moving it's because of these levels that I have on my chart. When in essence, it isn't really because of these levels. Now, if we also use the futures, right? Let's go back to the weekly, right? And the reason why we're using the weekly chart to look at these uh, COT data, it is because uh, on the weekly chart, that is where we can actually, because, sorry, because on because the, the report, the COT report is published every single week, right? So that is when it is published every single week. So that is why we look at, the weekly chart but as you can clearly see what was happening how it has been happening the retail traders or the small speculators have been massively long right if you look at the previous behavior they are massively buying nasdaq right and what is happening with nasdaq nasdaq is falling it's pulling lower now looking at your support and resistance you can then say okay because price came to this and this none you can't even use that because these are just random lines that are just plotted on the chart you can't really add any significance because it's just random lines but i just wanted to show you that you can see they are massively bullish and price is falling so you can use this to try and trade against their positions right that is the first thing that you need to st start adopting so this is now now i'm no longer talking about the mistake i've, I've highlighted the mistake or the potholes now if you want to fix that start looking to trade against them because they are buying at the highs and they're selling at the lows right of the actual chart of the actual market secondly use technical analysis as a timing tool when you've already looked at fundamentals and also looked at the cot report because if you are relying solemnly on technical analysis or specifically support and resistance then i'm just i've shown you i'm just throw, throwing in random lines prices respecting those lines right so it means that technical analysis is in essence a self-fulfilling prophecy right nothing wrong with using technical analysis but you need to use it the right way which is as a tool to time your entries right so that is what i wanted to go over in this video to show you some of these potholes that you need to avoid and if you obviously found value from this video like the video and uh subscribe if you have not yet subscribed but either way i hope you found value and i'll see you in the next video